What's up guys? I hope you're having a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever you're doing. I hope you're doing it good. So I got a new field recorder. This is the Zoom F1 and I'm using the microphone that comes with it now, the lav microphone. And the first thing I noticed when using this is that the microphone that's included has a lot of noise when you have any handling at all. So if I just tap anywhere along the cord, you're going to notice some noise and interference. I do have some other microphones, so I'm going to switch it out for one of those right now. And then we'll look further at the Zoom F1. All right, guys, here I've put on another microphone. And this one, I think, in my opinion, sounds much more clear. And when you tap on the actual cord, there's a lot less noise. So this is what it sounds like. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I will put on one more mic. It is the, it's made by a company called JK. And it's a smaller mic and I really like that. So I'll switch it out for that one now. All right, guys, this is the third microphone I have. I'm using it with the Zoom uh, F, F1. And this is what it sounds like. I like this microphone a lot because it's a lot smaller and it's really thin and there's not much noise when you play or adjust with the cord. So a few things that I like about the Zoom recorder uh, that I'll mention right away is that it has the threads for the microphone. So if you have a threaded, you can thread it in there. You don't have to worry about it coming off. Uh, but it also works the same with the cords that aren't thread. So it, um, yeah, it works that way too. And it has a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio. And another thing about this that's kind of unique to anything like I've seen is that this top part comes off here. And it's got a, a place you can put on uh, multiple different kind of, you can use like a shotgun mic, you can use a dual XLR recorder, um, like a stereo microphone. So you can buy those adapters and plug it in there. I specifically got it for the, uh, the fact that it just, it, it looked nice, small, compact, but there are a few issues with this guy. So let's go look at those now. All right, guys, so let's just take a look around this guy. On the side here, you have the on switch, so you just slide it to one side, hold it, and it will turn on. This also doubles as like a hold, so if you're recording, you can just push it over, and then any button that is pushed, you'll see that the hold message pops up, so just a good feature there. Slide it off hold. So you have the big red record button. You just tap that, it'll start recording. Hit it again, it'll stop recording. You have the option to listen to your recordings. You gotta play, pause, uh, stop, and then this doubles as an option button. Down here you have four buttons. You have the record format, so you can go through that. I have it set to 48, uh, 24 bit. But you just press it, and then you press it again. You see it can go through you got MP3 options. So, and I usually just keep it at 48 uh, by 24. And then you have the low cut filter. You can turn that to 80 hertz, 120, 160, or off. Uh, the limiter, you can turn that on or off. And then the record volume. Now, before I use this, I use the Zoom uh, H1 and it had a volume rocker on the side. This one just has uh, the record level. The options you have is like high plus, or you have high plus plus or auto, and low, mid, minus, and then you have mid, mid plus, high, minus. So that's how you would adjust the record input. Um, so I guess, I don't know, I'm just kind of still getting used to that, but I found myself a lot of times, uh, at least on high, or maybe high plus is kind of like the range that I found to work out uh, pretty good. Now at the bottom, you have a line in. That's where you attach your lav mic. And you have a spot you can monitor the audio with the headphones. And both of these are threaded, so you can screw them on there. You don't have to worry about them coming out or getting pulled out. 
On the back, you have a place to put on a belt clip, which I put on there. And it also looks like if you didn't have that belt clip on, you could kind of run your belt through here. Uh, and that would probably work just fine. On this side, something that's a little unique about this is that it has a spot that you can put um, like a shotgun microphone or you could put a like dual XLR or stereo head and you can switch them out and then you just use the Zoom F1. Now I really got this just because I, I thought it was a little bit smaller uh, than, it, than it showed in the pictures, but it's still, you know, rather small. And the, at first glance, it looks very well built, uh, but there are a few issues with it. Okay, on the, on the side here, you have the micro SD card slot and it i don't know it just sometimes it feels like it's a little bit hard to get in and out and then sometimes this door doesn't want to close all the way and i want a door you know that makes sure it's going to close all the way because if, if, if it gets bumped while you're using it then you have the possibility of the sd card popping out but so far i mean the door's been holding up the sd card just it's kind of tricky to get in there sometimes once I find out which way it goes. Like that, and then you shut the door. And on the other side, this is run off of uh, two AAA batteries. And this is like the most difficult battery door. Well, maybe not the most difficult, but it's nothing like to be proud of at all. Like it's jammed right around here, around the metal piece. Kind of difficult to get put in. They do got a little battery description so you can see which way the batteries go. But then to seal this door back up, you got to put like one side in and I still haven't... It's it's a super, super pain to do. And I have read some reviews where I'm not sure what the people are doing when they're using it, but this door... If this door pops open, of course, you're, you know, you're screwed. Your, your batteries are going to pop out, but... Uh, so besides that, we have the volume rockers. This is going to be for your monitored audio. So you turn that up, turn it down there. And then you have 5 volts DC. So if you wanted to use an external battery pack, you could you know, have this run a little bit longer. So to access the other menus, you would hold down Option. And when you hold it down, you'll see you got the Play Tone. You got uh, Pre-Rec. You can turn that on and off power plug in on off and then menu so you would just hit that menu and from there you have the arrows you can go up and down but you got record play uh, date and time the LCD and to go in those menus you just use that over arrow and you can adjust those I'll go down here you got battery I'm not sure what what the battery is about okay I guess you can set the battery type which is interesting back out here auto power off and SD card that's where you would go in and format it or you can test the SD card to see if it works and yeah that looks like just about that so not a whole lot more to say about it I wish that the SD card door was improved the battery door was improved uh, and the microphone has too much noise in it but besides that i do like the design it still looks i mean it looks pretty sharp so it works good and sounds good so i'll put a link to this in the description that's that thanks for watching